my beautiful family and welcome to another one of my videos. Well, it's been a while, while since I filmed and it has to do that I've been sick and my kids have been sick and I didn't have time to film. But I'm here today to actually review a new brand uh, that I discovered. It's Civiti. Civiti. This brand here. And I can't wait to try this product and talk about more about the brand. If you want to hear my thoughts and see this beautiful product that I have in this box, then please keep on watching. So they actually reached out to me and wanted me to try some of their products. And of course, I love makeup. I love to try new brands, especially brands that I never heard of. So I'm excited to try some of the products. Look at this beautiful bra box. And I got a palette. Before I show you guys, I have to tell you that everything came sealed and it felt really nice to get everything nice, packed and sealed. And it's kind of like an extra experience. This is the palette that I got. I don't know if you can be breathe. It's a really, really nice palette. I love the packaging. And I'm going to read about the brand more. But this is how the inside packaging looks. And this is the behind. They don't have the names, but they do have the numbers of the shades. Now the number five, the shade in the middle, is actually a glitter and it says it's not supposed to be um, used directly or immediately on eye area it's because it has big chunks of beautiful glitter. Can you see the stars in here? It's so beautiful. I really like this palette. It looks stunning. Kind of gives me Colourpop vibes and can't wait to try it out today. I also have a lipstick here. And this is in uh, number two, Luscious Time. You can see, I love the packaging of the lipstick. It's so beautiful. Look at this. It's matte. It feels very soft. And look at this shade. Just speaks to me. Can't wait to try it out. And one more product that I have here. It's actually the sun, sun cream blush, color number three. And I chose this blush because I wanted something that gives me like a bronzer vibe, something more brown, warm. And this color looks beautiful, like pinkish brown. I did swatch it because I couldn't wait. It looks brown more in real life uh, and it looks dark. I can see that my camera kind of shows it more red. But it's a really beautiful, beautiful deep shade. And uh, I think I'm going to go light with, in, with it. But can't wait to try it. So I just moisturized my skin. So guys, like I said, I've been away for a while. I'm going to use this as a primer. I have pre-filmed videos. I have also still some of the unboxing calendar, advent calendar, that I'm going to put out on my channel. It's because... Uh, you can still purchase them and you can purchase them for better price right now because it's December and I, maybe you can I don't know, buy it and have it as a gift or maybe you're just interested to see what's hiding in here if you didn't buy it. So I'm going to go in with this. I really like, I have oily skin, but this Nimia's kind of cream where it all stars cream, it actually gives me like a nice healthy glow but doesn't make me look oilier than usual so really like it and i'm going to also go in with this instant cooling eye serum or stick not serum i've been liking this under my eyes it's not so cooling like other cooling gels but it gives me that nice soft it's soft but like cooling sensation, but not too much, so it irritates the eyes. And this brand, let me just read until everything, I need to go on their website, has a really nice website, 
you can find good information. It says here, we pride ourselves on being price friendly and high quality. We specialize, we special, specialized in cruelty free and high performance products, and we truly believe that everyone should born should born to be colorful. So welcome to Sibeti. The best is yet to come. It has a beautiful website with amazing products and uh, nobody can define the beauty but everyone could perceive the beauty everyone could perceive the beauty nice message and the shipping was quite uh, fast oh they have uh, brushes i haven't seen that nice they have lipsticks and brushes and palettes some beautiful beautiful products oh i'm kind of curious to see the brush collection but okay i'll go on that website later too found out more let's go in with the eyeshadow but i'm going to use my urban decay primer it's because i always use almost not always use this one but i use this one the most and i use this one the most when i'm trying out new eyeshadows and i'm going to set my base like i do with every eyeshadow powder from Too Faced is actually one of my favorite uh, powders. I got this in one of my calendars, advent calendars, and I've been really enjoying it. I'm almost out of this sample. Okay, so we did prime um, our eyes. Okay, so let's go into the palette. I am going to go in with Imagine. Oh, they do have names, but they have the names inside the palette. That's nice. I love having names or numbers, doesn't matter actually, but I prefer names. Let's go in. It's a nice nude color. Ooh, it's pigmented. I like that. I'm going to bring it high almost to my eyebrow. Oh, it's really nice. I mean, you can't really see it because it's a light shade, but it's pigmented, it's there, it's visible on the eye, which I really, really enjoy. I'm going to use as many eyeshadows as possible on my eyes today, so just to try out the formula. So far, so good. I'm going to use the same brush. Actually, this is the Sosu 203 brush, and I'm going to go into the next nude brown shade of this here in the center. And bring that into the crease and a little bit above just to open my eyes more oh it's going to be nice it's pigmented and it's blending nice and i can still see the first color that we applied which is really really good it means it's not going to look like mud on my eyes i really enjoy this formula it does have a kickback in the pan, but it's not, if you can see it, it's not much at all, just here, just a little bit, but I mean, it doesn't bother me, it's, don't have any fallout on my face, but it's there, this also is a buildable formula too, I like that, I'm going to switch to the next brush, and I'm going to go in with Sigma Blending E25. And I do want to go in this, it has like a satin, fi satin finish, this shade here. This shade here, let's see. Yes, it does, but I want to, it's really, really pigmented. It's there. But I want to smudge the other corner. Oh, it's off the press. It does have a lot of um, pigment. Let's see. It's blending itself. It's really nice. Wait, I really like that. 
I really really like that. So this is a really really nice pigmented color. I'm just going to not adding more shade. I'm just going to bring it into the crease that the rest of the shade that we have on our brush. I'm going to use this green color and then I'm going to go in with this here too. Yes, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to use my finger. Oh, that's nice, but I do want to blend. I'm just going to use like a, this small uh, flat brush and go with that green shade. It's soft pressed, so just to blend it. It's a really nice color. I'm just building it up because it is very pigmented and I want to first blend it in and then I'm going to wet the brush and apply this green and the brown with a wet brush just to bring that sheen to the color. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at that. Okay, so I'm going to use some on the brush and I'm going to wet the brush. And apply the green. Oh, so beautiful. And goes on oh, nice with this. This is not a firm brush. And I didn't want that. So I'm going to clean it from the green shade and I'm going to go and apply the brown that we had in the other corner. But I'm going to wet the brush again. I love playing with new formulas and new eyeshadows. So satisfying. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's so beautiful. And I'm going to go in the screen shade, the gold one that we talked about before. And I'm going to wet that shade. Now let's see if we can use it with a brush dry. Yeah, maybe wet. The finger works beautifully. And let me swatch it with a finger finger is working beautifully but I'm not going to apply it because it's a small part of the eye and I want more precise so I'm going to wet this brush so this is a shade that needs to be pressed it's more chunkier that's so nice I definitely think, think this color should be applied with finger Just because it's a chunky shimmer and that with the finger warmth, it kind of melts together. Let's see if we can use a pinky. Do you have long nails though? Yeah, that's nice. That looks really, really nice. Okay, so I'm going to go in and use like an eyeliner brush and I'm going to go in with this dark shade here that looks like black with blue shimmer and I'm going to use it as an eyeliner that works nice that works really really nice I am though going to use that color and just blend a little bit to deep up the other corner. So I'm going to go in with the foundation and for the foundation I'm going to go in with Rimmel Long Lasting. I'm going to go in with NARS Concealer. I'm going to set everything with Too Faced powder, Sigma powder on my eyebrows. Nude stick gel, set gel. Now, I'm going to go in with my Too Faced bronzer 
is because it's pigmented, it's deeper, and I think it will be nice, go nice with this blush. So I'm going to go in with this bronzer. Let's go and finish the eye look. We are going to go in and use, I do want to go in a, with a flat brush or soft flat brush. And I'm going to go in with the color detailed, this here. Oh, that's a beautiful shade. And pigmented. This palette has pigment. It's also easy to blend and to use but go light-handed so it's easier for you to build it up than just you know think that it's not pigmented because it is oh, that's nice but i do want to go in and dip it up with the brown that we had here on the corner now oh, this orange i need to swatch it oh look at that that's such a beautiful color, but we didn't use it today. And we have this glitter. I'm not going to use it. Oh my God, but I do not need to look at that. Can you see this? This is so nice to, oh my God, to have on, fa on your face. These stars, but oh, so beautiful. I'm going to spread it around you so you can see. It's so nice, especially for the new year makeup looks, but I'm not going to use it today uh, because I'm going to go pick up my son from uh, Scouts. So it would be really strange if I just go there with a lot of glitter on my face. I oh, love glitter. It makes me happy. But it's a chunkier glitter, so I will um, use it on my face, but not maybe just in my eyes or on my eyes. Okay, the palette is beautiful. I love the palette. I'm definitely going to use it a lot on my channel because it's pigmented, but it's also easy to blend. Now, of course, you can go in and fix things around if you want to. You know, if you see that maybe it needs to be more blended, but it's really easy to use this palette and it's really pigmented. Oh, it looks so beautiful for this. December. Okay, I'm going to use the blush. I'm so excited about the blush. I love the blush. It needs to be deep, deep, deep color. A little bit too deep for my skin tone, but I don't care because I wanted something like this. And let's see. I actually chose this color. I'm going to just tap it. Oh, it's pigmented. Will be so beautiful on deeper skin tones too. And bigger mirror. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. It gives me nice warmth to look just like I wanted. Something more deeper. It's blending nice. So if you choose a deeper color, just go tap one because it's really pigmented but it's beautiful and goes really nice with my eye look. I love it. I love it. Oh, I love it. I love the blush. Okay, let's go for the lipstick and I need a lip liner. Number two from Rebecca Stella. And I don't know if it goes with this lipstick, but we'll make it work. I just love the packaging of this lipstick. Let me swatch the color for you guys. Oh, it's so beautiful. My lips are very dry, so I don't mind that. This is creamy, satin kind of um, lipstick. It's so nice on the lips. I really love it. You can see my lips are really dry. But this lipstick feels so comfortable on the lips. Nice. I love it. I have white sweater and white pants and I play with colors calling for 
trouble. Okay, I'm going to set everything before I do my mascara and outro. So let's set everything with Cherry Milani setting spray. So guys, this is the final look. I'm loving every product I've tried today. I'm in love with the palette. It cre I created a beautiful makeup look. And I think you can create so many ma beautiful makeup looks with this palette. Think about this blue all over the lid with deepening up with this brown shade or this dark or black with blue sparkles. Think about this orange all over the eyelid. Oh my god, I will definitely play more with this palette. It's beautiful. It's pigmented. So pigment is there. It's just that that I wish uh, I wish there was smaller glitter that you can actually use on the eyes. But I love this with the stars. And this is like a chunkier kind of texture shimmer so you will definitely get some fallout with this but use the finger it's better with applied with the finger but i really really enjoy i think it has everything in here and i'm loving the blush oh my god yes it's pigmented it's deep i could definitely go with a lighter shade but i wanted something this orange brown color warm and goes really nice with the lipstick i'm surprised how much i like the lipstick well, I love the packaging, but when I opened it, I thought, oh, it would be matte and drying on the lips, but it's not. It's kind of like a satin matte lipstick. I really, really enjoy it. I'll definitely apply another lip liner and maybe some gloss on top if you want to make it more shimmery. But I really enjoy every single product and I'm definitely going to check out more from this brand. I'm very happy to... Uh, that I got the chance to try out some of the products and I definitely recommend them. They have some sales on their website, so I'll put the link down below. Don't hesitate, purchase. And I'm um, definitely going to experience more. If you find something on their website that you want me to try out, please let me know. I'll definitely purchase it and try it out on my channel. I will definitely play more with these products on my channel, so stay for that. Guys, let me know down below. Have you heard about this brand? are you interested what do you want to see more from me guys don't forget to subscribe like this video and hit that notification bell and i see you in my next video i love you all bye thank you for watching